After a day where temperatures reached in the mid-30s, we woke to a very different day. It was very cold and foggy. The first thing we did was move across to the other side, outside Midlands Chanders, there is a water point. After filling it with water, we reversed back to go under Bridge 94 so we could continue our journey along the South Oxford Canal. The sun was beginning to come out and the heat was returning. It was going to be another glorious day for cruising. We saw more combines and tractors working hard gathering in the harvest, making the most of a sunny day. The chaff filling the air as they worked. We soon passed Napton Junction and the windmill that stands at Napton on the hill. There's something you don't see every day in Britain, a herd of water buffalo. Approaching this farm along the cut, you can almost get the feel of what it must have been like when barges came and went, delivering goods and produce on their way to and from market. Just two, or where they? Where it's gonna be? Where it's gonna be? Going through all these fields, and uh, yeah. They're making a cut into that hill. This is so more people can stand up on trains. Paying all that money for a ticket, you'd actually get a seat, wouldn't you? Well, as I say, 
too expensive for me to have a ticket. It's a ludicrous amount of money to, to be on a train and you can't guarantee a space. And even if you do book it, you can't guarantee that somebody hasn't decided to sit in it and then refuse not to get out of the seat, which has happened. and fields that are just taken away. Piles and piles and piles of earth now. And hopefully that will all get spread over the fields and put back. But um, yeah, that's it cutting through this part of the Oxford Canal. This is a bit of main route to Birmingham. Isn't it? Yeah, main route to Birmingham. See, it's a bit tricky because there are blind bends, we can't see what's going on, we can't see a boat round the corner. It is. Little strip of maize left. Yeah, there you go. HS chair. That's what the new trains can swim past here. 150, 160 mile an hour, yeah. whatever speed they're going to go. The poor old wildlife, look how much wildlife has been absolutely decimated. I can only think, I can only think of one, one of our friends and relations who would possibly ever use that train. But yeah, this is the damage it's doing. Miles and miles and miles of it. She'll be retired before that's finished. Yeah, she probably will be as well. I'd like to hope she is. But the thing's up, she's done a hard job. Unfortunately, rain stopped play, so we decided to moor up and settle down to a nice pot of tea and homemade cake. The next morning we woke to a glorious sunrise.
thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want notifications of further videos, ring the little bell. And please subscribe to our channel. You can go over to Patreon and have a look at our page over there. The links to our pages are all down in the comments below. So we'll see you next time.